Hi guys. In previous videos, we have learned about basic of PLC and made many examples in PLC. When we make a new logic or change in existing logic, download in PLC is necessary. Similarly, when we need backup, we upload the program from PLC. In this video, we will learn about uploading and downloading of programs in PLC. Listen guys, we are making videos in Somatic Manager and TIA Portal. We are trying to give you the basic understanding with PLC. So, if you are using any other PLC brand and making programs, you don't need to worry. We know that. A good swimmer can swim in every ocean. Let's start to understand the concept of uploading and downloading a program in PLC. For uploading and downloading in any PLC, you need a PG or laptop, a programming cable, a PLC, a software. First we try to make a program and then we will download it in PLC. Open your PLC software. Here we are using PCS7, Somatic Manager. Create a new project. Name it as you wish. We are giving name it a test project. Give it a storage location. OK. Now we are going to define some hardware. Here you will learn to define new hardware. Consider we are using a simulator to test the program. So we are taking a dummy PLC and its module. When you will use a real PLC. See your real PLC codes and try to define the actual hardware. Go to the hardware configuration. First we insert a rack and then a power supply. Insert a CPU as you wish. Insert one analog input output module. Now we insert a digital input output module. Our hardware configuration has been completed. Save and compile the defined hardware. OK. Now we'll move to programming page. Here we insert a new FC to create the logic. You can also choose here language. Our FC has been created. Open it for making logic. On left side different instruction sets available. We will make another video for these instructions and try to explain them briefly. A library is also available to choose the required subroutine. A subroutine is a predefined block to measure or calculate the process value. We can choose here any subroutine. Normally all brands of softwares have their own library. But subroutines and their behavior are same. We can also make our own subroutines via using these simple instructions. OK. Now make a simple logic. Insert a normally open contact and a coil. Insert another normally open contact in parallel. Attach tags. Which we have already defined. Save the program. Now open simulator. Download the complete program into the dummy PLC. Means simulator. First set your downloading media means which media is you using. Here different media options are available. Choose your required media. Now we download our complete program in PLC. Downloading has been started. Wait until completion of download. Our program has been downloaded. Open your programmed block. Press monitor on. When we make or close first contact, output energized. When we break or open first contact, output to energized. Similarly, when we make or close second contact, output energized. When we break or open second contact, output to energized. When we make or close both contacts, output energized. 
when we break or open both contacts, output to energized. Ok now we make some more FCs and download them into PLC. You can download complete program during process is not running. Means in shutdown. When your process is running, avoid complete downloading. Because during running when you try to download complete program. CPU will stop. So, when you require complete downloading, shut down your machine first. Put emergency on. Then try to download after taking safety precautions. When you made a small modification in logic, you can download it directly. No need for shutdown. Ok, we have made new FCs and made some modification and also we have download our program in PLC. Run PLC. Monitor on the system. See our system has been unlined. Output is not energized. When we press different buttons. Output energized. Mean our program is as same as in PLC. Now we tell you that. How can we upload a program from PLC? First create a new project. Give it a name. And a storage location. Where you want to store the project. Press OK button. Your new project has been created. Go to PLC tab. Click on Upload Station to PG. A new pop-up will open. Select Rack 0 and Slot Address 2 because CPU is placed on Slot 2. Click on View button. When accessible nodes appear click on your CPU and then click OK button. Uploading has been started. Wait for complete uploading. Our program has been uploaded without any error. OK. Now we check whether our uploaded program is OK. And same as we have made. See same blocks available here. Open your programmed FC. Click on Run P on Simulator and Monitor on. See here our program is online. Means we have uploaded a same copy of program as we have in our PLC. All brands have normally same procedure. If you found any problem, take help from its manual. So guys, you see. How can we upload and download a program to a PLC? We think, now you would be able to upload and download program from any PLC. For more informative videos. Stay on channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching.